Jarrett would have tried to make it into this top eight. I think it's very likely that, you know, Itabashi would have made that top eight. He was one of the big oh, picks. Itabashi was probably very happy that he's not running into Haidani. Yeah, that guy has been a demon for him. <laughs> but you know what? Look, since final round, you know I've been high on Verloren. Yes, So of he was one of my secret, like, well, not really secret dark horse. I mean, obviously he's yeah. super good, but I don't think a lot of people are paying as much attention to him sure. as he deserves. Both him oh, and Ella from Korea really have stepped yes. up this year uh, on the Kami train and shown the yeah. power of not only their region, but of the character, right? Yeah, my dark horse was technically for Lauren slash NL. It was yeah. going to be one of those Korean Kami players. Yeah, both incredibly talented players, and here we are, Itabashi Zangief. I'm sure Nemo somewhere in oh. tears at the thought of Itabashi in winner's <laughs> top eight. The darkest timeline for oh, Nemo. Oh, and a great start for, for Lauren. Look at this. Working on a perfect. Not going to spend any meter on that uh, juggle potential there. But you know what? We've seen Itabashi do crazier things from this point right I, here. Every day of my life I've seen him do crazier things. Activates the V-Trigger. Yeah, but Valor knew it was meaty. But guess what? You're picked up again. One more and you're going to be stunned. He backed off. I think maybe to bait perhaps the uppercut. He was one guess from stun there. One guess from... You know, sending this round his way, but that'll oh. do it for Lauren. The very safe tick throw to get the job. Oh, oh, you see that reaction. Yeah. Lauren, very pleased, <laughs> but also very scared, right? That yeah, one uh -huh. reversal SPD almost cost him the round. Oh, man. All right. So, Lauren taking round one. It looked like it was going to be a free round, but honestly, one SPD would have changed that all around. We're in Vegas. This is the time to gamble, of course, and Itabashi, certainly the master of it. He has that style. He's so difficult to defeat because you never know what he's going to do. He's very unpredictable, incredible at playing that mental roulette of what do I do on offense? Do I do the command throw? Do I do, you know, a strike? Is it the regular throw? Right. What could I possibly do? And that kind of mix-up from him is so powerful. Right. And this is an interesting matchup, too, because there are people who do think that Zangief does well against Kami. And then there's people who think Kami destroys Zangief. Yeah. So I honestly think this is a pretty even match, but here comes Itabashi. Yep. Oh, the read! Exactly, wow. not gonna quite be enough, but the down jab as a meaty will do it. Valorn with the buttons. Yeah, surprised that Air SPD wasn't enough. Kami, of course, with only 900 health. Baba, perhaps her only main weakness. Yeah, I lost a little damage on that to Eve, so, you know, it'll happen. But this is the neutral where he's got to fight it out, right? Kami, you know, she has single strike normals that are very good, very fast. He can't really absorb them like maybe a Karen Roundhouse and get the punish. Goes for the meaty, and Itabashi caught hitting buttons. Crushed. Yeah, the, big, the biggest disadvantage Itabashi has right now is that Valoran just has so much more resources right now. Nice backdash, gets away from the SPD, and has a proper punish as well. And now critical art on deck, so... Oh boy, that's going to be a, a full conversion, but he has no EX. Right, so he has to go for the standard mix-up. He expected a jump out, it looked like. There wasn't one from Valorant, but he's fully loaded, as you mentioned. Full resources, makes him dangerous, but no fear! Itabashi, the huge jump. <laughs> oh, There's never a time where you're safe, Itabashi. Look at the smile on Dude, his face. That face, every time I see him smile or nod his head like that, it's almost like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that's a tough guess. Have fun dealing with it. The only man who could be smiling as he faces a top eight winner's bracket <laughs> situation. No fear in that man's heart. That's how you have to play Geef, the whip punish of the star from Itabashi. And honestly, that's how you have to play to be a top eight competitor at Evolution. No fear. And Itabashi just going right in there. Oh, standing fiercest, covering up a lot of space on that mid-range floor. Exactly. As I mentioned, Kami, those single hit normals, right? You can armor through them with the fierce, even though they're, fa they're fast. You know, that's armor. This is a stun. Not going to be too much damage on this because of the scaling. Oh, wow. Try to go for the jump light kick. Almost made it. Looked like he was trying to bait him to think he was going to throw. That's the second time he's used the heavy punch as armor, as an anti-air. One guess here. He got him. The double down jab counter hit puts Itabashi one round from winners top eight here at Evolution. Again, I think a lot of people expected him to do well, but top eight winners, I mean, Oh, oh no! And oh, was that a reset? I don't even know. No, okay, that, that was, was real combo. combo. Was yeah, combo. it's huge damage. The running bear grab, but it's not enough. She gets out of there. And now Valorant in good positioning, but the back throw. He has resources, oh, but he's man. in big trouble. Ow. That that wasn't even a true combo. But you no, know what? Yeah. It's, not, it's all good. It's all good. It connected anyway. Exactly. He thought he had the meaty headbutt. Wow, headbutt on the trade I and Itabashi. Anything will do it now. 
Yeah, Itabashi, you can just tell he's like, oh, wait, here we go. Opportunity went for the throw, but then finally the crouch light punch from Itabashi is going to take it. And he is moving on to the top eight tomorrow. Winner's side for him in this bracket.